I'm Brent Naylor here with Tackle Warehouse in Iowa, and it is day two of V-Log. Uh, fishing has been very tough. It proved that to us yesterday. Uh, heading out again today. We're out a little bit earlier. Going to try and catch a couple fish early, up shallow, you know, reaction baits, crank baits, jerk baits, swim bait, and then go out and try and catch them out deep. So uh, we'll give it a shot. It's bitter cold this morning, colder than it was yesterday, but. Uh, you know, hopefully we can find something. Look at Look up. <laughs> Little guy. <laughs> Sorry. Get in there. Alright. Little one. Well, I actually was, was reeling in to make another cast. My line went slack. <laughs> Little one, not the one we want, but you know, I caught that one on a, a yam metal thin Senko. It's, it's it's just so calm right now and so cold that I just figured something that uh, more lethargic, slower, just something that you know, kind of pinpoint those fish that don't want to move. Uh, just a wacky rig thin Senko and fishing it ultra ultra slow, <clears throat> annoying slow. But it's just so dead flat calm out here. They just don't seem to want to chase. That's one thing that I've done in the winter. A lot of times I'll throw it on a drop shot to where I can keep it on the bottom, but it's pretty shallow. It's only about six, eight feet deep here. So I figured just a weightless, you know, wacky rig like that would be a trick. One little bite on it. Never felt it. Here's one. The one five. Look at that. Right in the sun. In the bright sun, he bit it. Get in here. There we go. That was actually. I didn't even know. I, I wasn't even expecting to catch something on, on the one five right now, but I was bored of not catching anything. But that's the brand new 1.5 thing retails for $6.99. Theoretically, they shouldn't be biting right now. I mean, it's dead flat calm. But it's, uh, now I'm disappointed I didn't throw more or sooner. That's a perfect one. I caught that one with a new Zillion uh, SV spool. It's compact. Uh, this is a Zillion rod, it's a cranking rod. It's a 7.2 medium action rod. It's a glass rod. Man, for throwing a square bill like that, uh, it's perfect. It's an absolute perfect rod for shallow cranking. Uh, catch a fish like that, worked out perfect. Goes. You know that one thing I really like, a couple things I really like about the, the new rods and reels from, from Dia was that you know the whole Tatula series, uh, Zillion series with the TWS, which is the T Wing system, is, is uh, you know the whole design of that is just to have a, a, a bigger level one, you know, when you cast, where it reduces the friction. So when you cast, you're not trying to funnel all that line through a tiny little opening on that level one. Uh, the T-wing system, it actually pops out, has a bigger opening. So fewer backlashes, farther casts. But now with this new reel, it's in a compact size. And not only compact size, but with the Zillion, you get the SV spool. What the SV spool is, is it's a smaller spool, a shallower spool. And, and by having that shallower and lighter spool, I can cast lighter baits farther. Uh, this is a Lucky Craft 1.5, so I don't have to worry about casting it, but it's so easy to cast. I can take and throw a, a 0.5, which I don't believe they make anymore, uh, almost as far as I can throw the 1.5. There's something about that, that shallow SB spool in that I can cast smaller, lighter baits a lot farther, and now with a T-wing, have fewer backlashes on top of it. But now you take all that, you know, all those qualities that we've had in the Tattoo and the Zillion in the past and have them in a compact and smaller frame and lower profile, it's just, it's easier for me. I have small hands and I just like that smaller size frame. It's just more comfortable for me to fish all day and less fatigue and uh, I have a better feel because of it. You know, I. 
it's more sensitive because I can wrap my hands around that reel more and have more, you know, hand to, to reel contact and, you know, essentially make, have a reel that can actually give you a better feel of the bait. This is the first time I've tried the new Electrocraft 1.5. Uh, what it is, they came out with an iCast. It's a, it's a $6.99 retail bait. And I mean, anytime people change baits, you think that it's gonna completely change the action. And actually most of the cost change was, was outside cosmetic packaging wise and a couple other things that they did. So uh, it, they had very little change to the bait other than they, they took the tungsten ball out of it, which tungsten is so expensive and they put a steel ball on the ball, I mean by the weight of it. And it's a fixed weight, so it's not something that you're worried about rattle-wise, so it's gonna have a different sound to it. It's a fixed pivot point on the bait where that's where the wobble comes from. And I literally cannot tell the difference between this and the original 1.5, so I'm excited about that. You know, now you can have a, a Lucky Craft 1.5 for $6.99 retail. You know, we've never had that with them before, so I'm excited about that. But throwing it real shallow right at the boat, I can watch it, and that bait hunts and walks you know, exactly what you want to do. So it's going to be a great bait for a lot less expensive now. And I really thought that I'd be able to come back in here and catch one uh, on this crankbait. You know, this time of year in the wintertime, Usually in the afternoon the fishing is better and you let that water warm up. In fact, it's it's about two degrees warmer right now than it was uh, earlier in the day when I fished in here and caught one. Uh, so I really felt like I was going to catch a couple through here. The wind's blowing a little bit. Um, I did have one bite. I had one missed it, um, but that was it. Uh, but, you know, my uh, setup for, for cranking shallow like this is the brand new 1.5. It's made by Lucky Craft just came out. It's essentially the same bait, uh, but it's $6.99. Um, the rod and reel setup line, a uh, rod I'm using the Zillion 7.2 medium action glass rod. Uh, I like a medium action rod for, for shallow cranking because it's pretty aggressive. When you're fishing shallow, I've, I like to fish fast. Uh, when fish bite it with too stiff of a rod, I tend to hold it away from them, so I use a medium action. The line I'm using is 16 pound Sunline FC Sniper fluorocarbon. So using heavier line like that and fishing shallow, short line, when they bite it, I think that medium action rod's perfect. The reel I'm using for cranking right now is, is the brand new Zillion SV TW. Uh, it, it's a compact size reel. It's in that new family of, of compact reels. And the thing I really like about this one is the SV spool. For me, shallow cranking, throwing smaller baits, uh, you know, the 1.5 is not that small, but it's just way more effective. I get fewer backlashes with the SV spool. Uh, it, it makes a huge difference. You know, all said and done, when you're fishing for a day, uh, you know, the fewer backlashes you pick out or, or the more casts you make and the more chances of actually catching fish. So I believe the SV spool does that. So that right there is, is my favorite setup for cranking. Um, you know, earlier in the day, I actually caught one. It was a small one, but I did catch one on a wacky rig. Uh, this is a standard setup for me. Uh, you know, anything spinning reel, finesse situation, I like braid. So the standard setup is going to be either a Steez or an Exist. This is an Exist spinning reel. I use 12 pound uh, Sunline SX1 braided line. And then I always run a, an 8 pound FC Sniper fluorocarbon leader. So it doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether it's a drop shot, whether it's a wacky rig like this, whether it's a shaky head. I'm going to use that same reel with that same line and that same leader. The only difference is going to be the rod and the bait. Uh, in, in this case, I'm throwing the brand new Kronos rod. This is actually a 7.3 medium action rod. Uh, it's just a good setup for throwing you know, lighter baits, a drop shot. Uh, you know, in this case, it's a, a Yamamoto Thin Senko. Uh, it's just a very good, real finesse, a little bit slower than a standard Senko. It's a Thin Senko and a green pumpkin. And then the, re the, the hook I'm using is a Gamagatsu. Uh, it's actually the Aaron Martin signature uh, split shot, drop shot hook and a one knot. Uh, so that's the setup I was using earlier. I think that if it was calm out here, I'd, I'd throw up more 
Um, you know, with the wind blowing like this, I really felt like the crankbait was going to work. But went to this this setup. Um, you know, that was kind of the way my day went today. Typical standard fishing for you know the middle of December. Uh, just just tough all around fishing. But all these products here uh, that I just talked about are on tackwarehouse.com. Check out the product videos and uh, hopefully you'll catch more fish. A fun, you know, Rayburn uh, 1.5 DRS fish. That single knock is definitely the trick to get those fish to bite. Uh, the Steez has the SV spool in it. Again, it's with the G1 Dura Lumen. Makes it very light, very durable. Big it. Oh, dude. I watched that fish eat it.